So me and my buddy Johnny are about to go fishing. I lost my other tripod, so I've been using my really like high tech one. This is for my big camera. This is for my Canon X830. I got this little camera on this huge tripod. Like, what is going on? Debating if I should either use my chest camera, or I should use the tripod. But like, if I'm gonna be going, I don't know what ponds I'm going to yet. I don't know if I'm gonna like. I wasn't gonna go out on Lanier today. But the thing is, it's a Saturday, it's in the afternoon already. I already had, like, I had a lot of stuff to do, so I didn't really have time to go this morning. So, um, that didn't work out, and, like, in the afternoon is really bad. It's really windy, so I'm not going to go out right now. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to go out or at least go to some other lake on my boat and be able to fish. Get out here on the pond. I'm out here with my buddy Johnny and also this kid named Luke. Um, I actually met him through watching my videos, and he's been wanting to always fish with me. So, we're out here right now. They're going to be leaving here very soon, and so Johnny brought his car because I'm going to be out here. So um, it's pretty windy right now. So I hope the audio is not bad. If the audio is bad, I might commentate, but I highly doubt it's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and catch some fish. So guys, I just set them up down there, um, them two. I just set them up with my worm poles. I'm not gonna throw a worm. I'm gonna let them throw it and catch a few fish. I'm gonna throw like a rattle trap, but um, this lighting's horrible. What, can, what do we got going? There we go. But I'm gonna let them throw that right now and hopefully they'll get a few fish. Um, Johnny's never cast a bait caster. I kinda just taught him real quick. I'll throw this rail trap out there, but let's go ahead and get it started. Dude, that was Dude, that fish hit it so hard. Sorry if the wind's bad, but first fish, that fish hit it literally right when I hooked it. It jumped out of the water. This wind's bad, I'm probably gonna have to commentate over it, but I apologize. First fish, rattle trap. I told him he's about to catch one right now. Watch this. Right on these rocks or these trees? Boy, old Johnny is about to catch one. Caught one, guys. He did it, boy. Kroger bag. <laughs> so I caught one of these new ones. Uh, it's these Kroger fish. It's a hog. I'm switching over to my chest cam right now because I'm not going to let you guys deal with all that wind noise. It's just not going to work. This is probably going to help it out a lot. There he is. Oh my god, dude. He like hit the head of me. Dude. Oh shit. Alright, there you go. Oh my god, dude. That Oh, he's tugging on that, huh? Made a mistake casting him for what? The worm blew up? Yeah, I burned this thing. Don't yank on it if it's like that, that'll ruin it. Let me see. You gotta take out the knot. I think the bag of worms blew out my pocket. I don't know how I got that out. He bite you? This is why you're a god. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I got some worms in my pocket. You don't have a do you have a Texas rig? Yeah, I don't have any weight. Well, I do have some weights. Honestly, that's probably one. I was trying to find a shaky head. Yes, yes. Probably what I'm gonna go back and look actually. All right, guys, I was actually fi fixing his his reel, and my bait was out there. I just caught this one. It's just a little tiny one. I'm gonna go with Mr. Swim Bait. I'm going bigger going home, guys. I don't. That's not a big swim bait, but should entice those bigger fish to bite. Oh! 
Holy sh! Oh my god! Bro, I lost this bait literally like a year ago. You got it? Yeah. No, this is a $30 bait too. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, look at this. All right, guys, I don't know if you're familiar with jackal baits or not, but I literally just found this lure I lost over a year ago. Like this bait is like a $30 bait. They're very expensive and I was like really hurt when I lost it and I guess the hooks just rusted out. You can't even see the wording on top anymore. And I just hooked it with my bait and brought it in. That is crazy. That is amazing. I'm just trying to get... get. What? I was about to say I'm just trying to get a big fish but... Guy ain't big. Here you go, guys. Got another guy. I actually cut off that swim bait. It was running a little weird to me, so I tied back on that rattle trap. Another little guy. Nothing big. I want to get a big one out of here really bad. Is he a good one? There you go, Johnny. Just right before I was about to leave. There you go, bro. That's a decent size. That's not a bad one. There you go, boy. That's not a bad one at all. A big mouth if you just eat. Here, watch this. Watch this. There you go, boy. Let me see it. Only if he ate more, his mouth's big. <laughs> Fish there. Yeah. That was a bass that time. Small one. Just a small one, boy. There, guys, got one on a Texas rig. Decided to slow down. I have the awkwardest, literally cheapest weights that I could have found. Because I don't have any good ones. But, I mean, that's not... That's a pretty fish. Nothing big, but... Still a fish. This one's fine hard, it's not even that big. Look at him run. Next cast. Boom. He's on that grass line over there I was talking about. This is actually the cast after I caught that last one. I think I'm gonna start turning it on. There you go. This is a little fatter than that one. You see that thing? There you go. Oh man, pretty good one. It's not a bad one, dude. That was the best one yet. It's just like a, it's a little fatty. There we go. It's not a bad fish at all, guys. This is a really healthy one. It's pretty thick too, you know, you can tell he's been eating. Oh guys, if this line's bad, I apologize. Brother, you guys have bad lighting and really bad wind, so we'll go over a few setups. So, first rod, Frog Swim Bay Rod, Spy Akuma, TCS, which is a tournament concept series rod. It's a Scott Martin signature series, and uh, this is a heavy power rod, 7.3. The reel is a Helios TCS, and I have this on 15 pound fluorocarbon. That is the first setup I used today. Oh my god, this wind. I don't know if you guys can hear that. This is some hardcore stuff right here. Second combo is an Akuma Helios. And this is going to be a 7.6 heavy power rod. This is what I was using the Texas rig on. Um, you know you can also use like a medium heavy if you want a little more accuracy and not too much tip on the rod. You can go with the medium heavy which is the Martin APC. That's the one I usually use by Akuma. But those are the rod and reels I used. Let's close out the video. I'm over here closing out the video. Luke's already, already over here. He's catching another one. That's not a bad one, dude. You get it? Look at that fish. 
and just poked me. I was already closing out the video. There you go. That's a good one, dude. There we go. That's what's up. Alright, guys. Gonna end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, got to take Luke out. Had a fun time, dude. Caught some fish. We caught some fish. Johnny caught some fish. We all caught some fish. The funny part is, like, right when Johnny left, we just started catching them. I was like, we're gonna be out here for a while because I gotta catch a pretty good amount of fish for the video. But, I mean, it was a fun time. I had fun. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the thumbs up button. Comment below something about the video because I'm going to be doing those. Answer the questions and other videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already.